YouTube, what it do? It's been a long minute since I've actually had an upload, especially for my keloid updates. Y'all probably been wondering, where's your boy been up? Um, how have the updates been going? What exactly has been going along with the process? And um, where did you leave off from the last time that you did a video? Um, you know, it's definitely been a long journey for sure. As I've told y'all previously in the past videos, and especially for the ones that have been able to see the previous videos, it has been like a long, very extensive journey. And it's a continuous journey as well. You know, when you see your keloids and when you look at your face, um, your body, and just, you know, overall, just your skin, there's a lot of different um, layers that you have to go through in order to get it the way that you want to. And at the same time, you do have to recognize and realize that everything isn't going to be the way that you want it to be just because of how the skin forms, because of just how recovery periods are, and just because of the way that our bodies work. And so every time that I do these videos, you know, I always want it to be to where people can understand and become educated on how keloids and just how skin works in general. And I want to be able to provide a safe space for people to be able to um, let out those emotions and be able to, to free flow in how they feel about their skin. Because I've had people that have reached out to me. I've had friends and family in the past that have struggled with these particular issues and people that still struggle now. And it's never an easy process whenever they're thinking about um, you know, how they are emotionally. And you know, just like myself, it affects your life. You know, the way that you look, the way that you feel, it can definitely be an ongoing process and it's not easy for anyone. And at the end of the day, we can always say, well, it doesn't matter about how other people think about me, it doesn't matter how I'm viewed, but there's always like a small piece of us that does care about how our appearance comes off to other people. And especially for ourselves, because there can be areas where you may have a particular scar or a particular injury and that affects just how you feel on your body. For instance, for my keloids, I remember, um, especially when I would have like big patches on my face or big patches on my head, those would be areas where it would itch a whole lot. And those will also be areas where um, my skin would become irritated because those ingrown hairs that were going in. So when I couldn't get to the ingrown hair, then I'm sitting there trying to scratch. And then because the keloid area is just so um, kind of like rough, but like a smooth rough at the same time, there's just no way where I can actually get to that particular hair. So what I'd have to do is, you know, if, if you're trying to get the hair out, you have to try to go underneath. And that doesn't always mean that you're going to be able to find the hair as well, too. So it's just always a particular process in which um, you're having to learn as you continue to go through your journey. So um, where I'm at now, you know, it, it's been a beautiful journey and, and it's continued to be a beautiful process. Uh, I want to be able to show you all like all the different layers and what I can do like in further videos as well, too, is kind of break it down a bit more because I have had like a lot of surgeries since the last time I've done it. I really just want to be able to educate and inform people on like some of the best strategies to go about your skin, um, some of the best ways to help improve it, like from, from a daily standpoint, and just um, some of the ways that it's helped me just mentally as, you know, since I've been able to get those areas removed and, and some of the, the negative parts of it as well too. So um, if you've been able to, again, see my videos in the past, um, you know, you've definitely seen where I've come from since then. If you've never had a chance to see any of my videos, you should go back to the first one whenever I had acne issues and then even go to where I, I first talked about my keloids and you can see my skin and everything now and we've came a long way. Like it's, it's I'm smiling right now because the process that I went through um, for such a good amount of time, you know, it, it still takes time to, to, to get to where I, I truly want to get to. But um, I can say the space that I'm in is I'm in the happiest space that I've ever been with my skin just because it feels like so much of a relief from where I previously was. Um, so again, if you can see my skin now, you see the way that I'm looking. I mean, just the spots, like, you know, no longer acne um, like I used to have, even as far as how the keloids were. I mean, even in these particular areas, you don't even see bumps. Um, and I do have like a couple little spots, so I'm not saying I don't have any bumps, but you know, I used to have really, really big rough patches, like big thick patches. And the way my face was formed, it definitely made my face uh, look uneven. So you might have where you know this side looks even, and then over here it's kind of coming out a little bit, or um, this area, you know, 
is a little bit more thin. Hair is not really growing in, but this one is. So um, it's definitely been a, a true ongoing process and, and one that I've enjoyed along the way. You know, one thing I do love sharing is being able to, to spread my, my wisdom and be able to spread my um, words of encouragement because it's, it's not easy. Um, there's things that I go through on a daily and things that I've went through that, that haven't been easy, but the more that I'm able to educate and share with other people about how the process is, the more I feel like others will find it easier to be able to, to share it for themselves or to share it for people that they know. Um, so yeah, if you, if you have any questions, you know, I've always put my links and things in the bio, but I want you to be able to see, um, you know, firsthand how things look. Um, and again, I've always had people where they ask questions. Some people just want to vent. And to me, those are amazing things because I know how it's felt. And I know how, for myself, I had to transition my mind. And I've had to put myself in a different space to be able to get through these type of things. Because a lot of people have an experience in the way that I have. And there's some people that have experienced it worse. But um, for my skincare journey, just in particular, I hadn't came across a lot of people that experienced it in the way that I have in the past and the way that I, that I do um, as I move through my life. And when it came to like acne in particular, you know, I know people that went through Accutane and I had, you know, friends that, um, or people that I have known that had went through it and they may have did it for a certain amount of time. But people really weren't speaking on it. And when you, I would talk to certain people, they would talk about it in a way where it was just like, okay, everything's good now, or I finally got through the process. But I love to understand how people are getting through their journey and what exactly mentally that they're going through during that time because sometimes when we're going through certain things um, just internally or just with our mind or with our body, um, you know, when we're going through those things, we're just waiting until something positive comes about or waiting until that change comes. But it's about the work that you're doing internally during that time so you can prepare for when the good times come because there might be one to two years where you're doing amazing and then, you know, something out of your control happens. So if you've, you know, don't remember where you were and you're not taking those strides and practicing those, those, those things and doing your due diligence along the way, then when something happens again, mentally you'll be like, man, it'll feel like you've never experienced it before, but that's not the case. Um, so yeah, so I want to be able to, to create, you know, a video here just to kind of, you know, get myself back into the flow and just kind of tell you all just how I've been feeling mentally, where I've been at as far as with my skincare process. And then I also do a, um, I'm gonna do another video here just to kind of show you in particular more in depth about the areas and um, just some of like the effects that I've had. So if you have any suggestions about things that you want to see, information that you that you that you want in regard to um, the particular processes that um, people go through or that I've went through, I don't mind sharing any of that. I can create more videos on it. Um, again, I'm no like particular expert when it comes to like surgeries or you know the um, I don't know the um, the language that doctors and things use, but I, again, I can tell you from my experience and I can show past videos of where I've had surgeries done and questions that I've asked doctors as well too to understand more about the processes. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this video is a, um, you know, like a good hype video for people that have been asking me questions or have been curious about when I'm coming back, when I'm going to do videos. And so, um, again, if you have any questions, as I say always, feel free to let me know. Um, any comments, um, feel free to, to shoot those at me as well, too. And again, hopefully these videos can be a big, big, um, you know, a big, big um, impact for people. You know, when it comes to skincare, you know, that's something I'm... Um, that's something that, that I'm really passionate about too. You know, there's different things that I use for my skin and have learned to use over the years. And I definitely would love to work with um, brands in the future um, that have different products, especially for black men with our type of skin. You know, things can be a little bit more rough around the edges, you know, depending on um, you know, the environments that we're in or what we may do in order to moisturize or um, to cleanse our skin. Um, so I just want to be a spokesperson for those people. I know, especially in the black community, and, and again, for men, we don't really have too many outlets or too many people that are speaking on their particular processes. You know, they have people that are speaking on a little bit of eczema, um, but not everybody experiences eczema. Just keloids in general, just kind of that common knowledge and just even acne, that's not discussed a whole lot. I know there's a lot of different processes and a lot of different products that people use. Um, 
But I know, that, again, from my journey, I've been a person that's had to try out a bunch of different things. I've had to, to go through a ton of different products. I've had to go through a ton of different surgeons, a ton of different dermatologists. Um, I've had to where keloids have gone and came back. Um, I've had to where, you know, some doctors are doing the same processes and this doctor over here, his process or her process is working compared to the other one. So I just really want to be able to, um, to be a spokesperson for you all. So um, look for more videos to come, but this is the Marcus's comeback video. So peace.